Hey guys, Rob has a few simple tips on how to speed up your processor on your um, laptop. So, check it out. Hey guys, this is Joshua's tip 645. And today, we're going to go through on how to make your laptop perform faster, as in increase the CPU speed, uh, the Intel speed, whatever processor you're running, without actually frying it or overheating or anything. So over here I have a Toshiba, I think it's a model F1. F-150N, I think. We're going to open it up. Actually, before we open it up, what you want to do is you want to get some uh, WD-40 because we're going to have to flip this back like this. You want to take out some of the screws for the battery. Um, so we're going to have the WD-40 right there. That's the battery. Let me just, you know, get some right on there. Just a little bit. Like that. Mm -hmm. And you want to get a little screw and make sure that's kind of firmly in place because, um, you know, you don't want to you don't want to have anything too much. Yeah, it's firm. Okay, so we're going to have to see this port. Well, that's your uh, Ethernet wire, and that's the compact drive wire. So what you want to do is you want to open it up, because everything you know is kind of in here. You see we've got the monitor here, and these this pad right here, you, got, you want to make that you know perform faster, so you know, just lags a bit less because if you notice when your scroll speed and it gets stuck or anything, you just want to apply just maybe a little bit of um, a little bit of that. This is uh, barbecue sauce that I'm using. That gives it like a, a nice smoothness. This act barbecue sauce has a bit of charcoal in it, so if you want to smooth it out a little bit, it's actually going to seep in the button, so it makes it so it's receivable better for the circuit. I think that's good. Okay. Other things people have problems with is that, oh, my keyboard, you know, like the dust, the things that get trapped in between the keys right here, some buttons may not work. Well, there's this cool, really cool homemade thing you could do um, right here. One second, I'm just going to be using uh, pickled cabbage leaves. You place them kind of like right on top, and that should soak up uh, all the excess dirt right here along the edges. So you place that there, and what you want to do is you want to have it close. And we're going to wait about three to five minutes and um, we're going to get back to check on it. So here we go. All right. So I'll see you guys in about five minutes. All right. So we're back. It's been about five minutes. And wow, that, that really has done the job well. If you can see, those are just shining now. Like all that dust is gone. So right here we're going to go behind the ports. And you just want to sprinkle some of this stuff, I'll, t I'll tell you what it is in a bit. just want to get it kind of in the ports right there. You want to kind of like, you know, spread it maybe inside so it goes right in all the little ports. Everything. These are emergency uh, packets and the reason why we use this is because it has electrolytes. So the electrolytes in this go into the pins and actually pretty much like resets them. It rejuvenates them with the voltage because sometimes voltage amps can get trapped between the pins. So it just kind of neutralizes it, basically. All right. And um, one thing we want to do to these ports to get them really in, just take out a small lighter, heat it up, just like that. See, it gets that right in. So you got the power button. You want you want that. You want your PC to power up faster. So one dab there, and you want the sounds to come out better. So two dabs there. All right. The keys are good, the touchpad's good. The CPU should now be affected by all of this. You know, you should have an increased um, processor speed. Maybe some on the screen too. All right, and you wanna, well, you see, you wanna fill in these cracks right here. Probably gonna have to put this under the sun to let it dry, so come on over here, guys. Just follow me real quick. Now, uh, what's important is that it just starts drying up. You want everything to kind of be compounded together for the circuit because you know if you're running a few megahertz of speed this is gonna increase it see now these keys you're gonna wanna access the circuit behind these keys um, you know some people like prying them out like you could probably even do it with your fingers but um, you really wanna just kinda get in there because we wanna work on the battery cell and the actual motherboard of the laptop so you just wanna just go like this and you can see some of the keys now uh, have actually just come out really easily. You can put these back together really simply. It's not, it's not that difficult. Now we're going to close that. Okay, that's already good signs. That's already really good signs. You know, 
and you want to flip it around so you could probably unscrew this real quick. Okay, so if we open this up, that's the four processor computer chips right there. What you want to do now is just kind of, you know, just, just a little bit more. Just kind of get it in there. But some of the plain yogurt as well. Because that's actually going to really help out with that chip in there. Because you, you can already see now that it's just dozed in there. It's just ready to, you know, start working again. That's about it. You just want to open it up, check your monitor, just like that. This is Joshua Tip 645 signing out. Please request me more how to videos to make. Plug that in, you should see the difference in no time.